Hi everybody, this is Lara from Pure Elliott Wave with a super quick update for Solana for you. I'm really only updating this because I've got some of this myself and it's having a pretty strong upward week for the last few weeks so I just want to have a quick look at its Elliott Wave count. People keep asking me to give them extra free analysis of various markets. I'm not going to be able to do any of that over the next well up until Christmas I've got some other big projects that I'm working on that have really taken my attention and take a lot of time so please don't ask as refusal may offend I will have another vote when I have some time to do extra stuff for you but anyway here's Solana moving up pretty highly I'm moving my invalidation point up to the end of intermediate two my wave count for Solana sees a third wave of intermediate primary and cycle degree my target for cycle three is for it to reach 12.887 times the length of cycle one I know that's not a Fibonacci ratio I'm using that because that was how long primary three was to primary one within cycle one so if cycle three exhibits the same ratio to cycle one that's the target I don't really like to think of it as a target I'm just really putting it there for you to show you what would be technically possible if this is the right wave count given past behavior let's have an update of what's happening in here so I've just updated the data I haven't updated my chart obviously I was expecting it to go up it is how high is this gonna go why is this candlestick green Oh well it's not finished, this is the 14th of November, I've just uploaded this data from Yahoo Finance, it's where I'm getting my Solana data from, I, I would want to label that over actually, I don't know about this, no that can't, no this doesn't look right, no let's look at this on the weekly chart, mm, I mean it could be minor one and two, I would expect the middle of the third wave has not passed. I'd expect it to pass somewhere up here. I mean, this is possible. I don't know. I don't like this at all. I'm going to try and redo that. Uh, there's nothing deep enough here for minor two yet, though. And I don't want to put one up here. Could I put one there? Is that really? It's not really going to make much difference, is it? Actually, this might not be as quick as I thought. I really don't have a lot of time for this today, but I do want to update it. Let's get rid of this channel, it's confusing me. This whole thing is confusing me. Oh no. I don't know if I want to label the third wave over. No. Go back to this. What do I have here? No, nah, well, I labelled it over there. That was a bit premature, wasn't it? I don't think I want to label minor one and two over though I don't know I think no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this here but I could change that so we could be still looking out for a minor degree second wave for my own purposes it just doesn't matter I'm gonna hold on until well above all-time highs because three has to move beyond the end of one this third wave has now moved beyond the end of the first. This third wave has moved beyond the end of the first, but cycle three needs to move beyond the end of cycle one, and it has to move far enough above that to allow room for cycle four to unfold and remain above wave one price territory. I think I'm going to put this here like this, and I think I'm going to do this. I don't know. I think it's a bit premature for the third wave to have passed its middle might need to move this all down one degree but then I do note when I look at crypto charts with historic data the third waves are almost universally long extensions and it's the fifth wave of the third wave that's the strongest and so the middle of the third wave can actually be passed relatively early so this is possible I'm going to leave it like that so that would mean the invalidation points here 32.468773 let's get a channel back because that's going to be useful to help indicate when a deeper more time consuming pullbacks arrived yeah I think I quite like that channel when this lower edge is breached by a full daily candlestick red candlestick below and not touching then look out for a pullback my last analysis I had of a target from a head and shoulders 39674 that's been reached and passed so let's just get rid of that support now about 50 below that support about 
26 and a half. How strong is this support about 50? Yeah, it's come from resistance here, a bit of support here, resistance here. Price is moving higher, it's obviously in an upward trend and it has pushed from volume. May have had a little mini blow off top here. There's not a bearish reversal pattern though. So far this could be a small consolidation within an ongoing upward trend, but let's see how extreme this is. Very extreme, so it's in danger territory. RSI is very deeply overbought, but there's no bearish divergence. Money flow reached over bought there is bearish divergence with price on a closing basis between those peaks price is closed higher money flow is lower so given these extreme conditions I would be looking out for a pullback to come sooner rather than later for Solana but I expect it'll be a pullback within an ongoing upward trend that's it for me with your very very quick Solana update I will not be able to give you much extra free stuff I'll just be doing my daily Bitcoin Ethereum XRP videos for a while um, probably until after Christmas, so thanks very much for your patience, guys.